Officials think that as many as 136,000 homes in Harris County, where Houston is, may have flooded. And now a lot of homeowners are getting back into their neighborhoods to try to clean up. But they are now throwing away damaged things faster than they can be hauled away. So the Houston mayor says that he asked President Trump for extra money to remove flood damaged furniture and other belongings. Most of the city is now dry and people are already putting out their heavy debris. Now the city of Houston started on Thursday picking up this heavy debris, but we have to get it done like now. It can't be sitting around 30, 45, you know, two months from now. And so uh, advanced funding for debris removal, he understood it. It was a very productive meeting. Some neighborhoods do still have a strong odor of raw sewage today, which gives you an idea of what's in the water and why some officials are so concerned about people staying in houses that are even partially flooded. And now the Wall Street Journal is reporting that the Houston Health Department doesn't have enough inspectors to test air and water everywhere they think they need to, so they are hoping that state and federal inspectors are able to come and help them do that. Yeah, which really speaks to how dangerous things can be post-disaster. Uh, do, do officials have a, a better idea of how much all of this is going to cost to clean up? They do, Molly, and the estimates continue to rise as more and more people are able to get into neighborhoods where the water levels are receding to take an inventory of what was damaged and destroyed. When you look at the number of homes and businesses affected by this, I think this will cost well over $120 billion, probably $150 to $180 billion. What the president has done now is, is make an initial request uh, before the end of this uh, uh, funding cycle uh, to get things up and running. Uh, and that request, as I understand it, is over $7 billion. And I think Congress understands this is a down payment on something that will cost far more. And today, the House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy is leading a congressional delegation to the mega shelter inside the NRG Center just days before Congress returns to start debating the president's request for almost $8 billion in emergency funding for this area and everybody affected by Harvey. Molly. All right, Mother Nature broke a lot of records with this one, and we're likely to see that price tag uh, break records as well. Peter Ducey there in Houston, thank you.